And joining me now, Fred Flights, former CIA analyst, senior vice president of the Center for Security Policy, and Jonathan T. Gilliam, former Navy SEAL and FBI agent, president of U.S. Continued Service and host of the experts. Okay, uh, gentlemen, we just heard from the congressman. Let me ask you your take, Fred, on uh, what we have seen here. The release, again, paying a ransom, uh, if you will, for the return of our hostages or prisoners, however you want to categorize them. Steve, it's good to be here. Look, we're all delighted that these Americans were released. And, you know, if I was advising the president, I might have recommended some type of a trade but we shouldn't be happy about this. And we should have condemned Iran for mistreating Americans and taking hostages. And let me point out something that the President and Secretary of State will not mention. The governor of Oman paid $500,000 a head in ransom, actual ransom, to get our Americans out of there. And I just think this is outrageous. And uh, Jonathan, I, I would assume you would, would agree with, uh, with the... Uh with the uh, thoughts of Fred and, and mine and the congressman, too. Absolutely. I can't understand why the United States is always on the short end of all these deals. It's either one for five, seven for five, but we're always on the short end of the stick, and we're the most powerful country in the world. Diplomacy that is backed by force is always going to be more powerful than diplomacy backed by compromise, and that's the problem in all of these is that the compromise is the main thing that's leading this, uh, this, uh, di this type of diplomacy. It's what bad guys use to develop their tactics in the future because they know that kidnappings work to get things out of the U.S. And it just, I, I can't figure out people who, why they're so against the United States being powerful. Why is that a problem? I, I don't get it. Well, you're right about uh, encouraging other kidnappings. Of course, uh, we now have the situation in Iraq with three Americans kidnapped. I don't care where it was from, a brothel or wherever the heck it was from. And, you know, Donald Trump talked about this at a rally that uh, he uh, had earlier uh, that we broadcast. Here's some of what he had to say. Three people have just been kidnapped in Iraq because they see what the heck we pay $150 billion for four people, three people just this morning, and this is going to take place all over, they should have come back as part of the deal three years ago when they started talking about the deal. Not now. Not now. Fred, that is absolutely right. This should have been a precondition to Iran, who won this whole uh, deal uh, on, on nuclear agreements, so to speak, with the money they're getting and the billions of dollars. The precondition to talk should have been, you free our prisoners who you're torturing, and we know you're torturing, or you could take a walk. That's exactly right. I mean, I didn't hear Secretary Kerry or President Obama say anything about Americans being tortured. And the president did this before. When three American hikers were kidnapped by Iran a few years ago, they were released because Oman paid, well, they called it bail money. But it was ransom. Right. Americans are being held hostage. Iran has found that taking hostages pays off. Jonathan, we've heard this president time and time again, and the left say time and time again, that anything we do, anything we say, radical Islam, you name it, that's going to put a target on the backs of our men and women in uniform all around the world, and American citizens too. But this president, time after time, puts that target on their backs, does he not? A absolutely. The biggest target, again, as I was saying before, the biggest target we can have on our backs is compromise. You know, during the Ronald Reagan era, um, he went out and uh, actively uh, pursued the people who would do things to us, and the reputation was you're not going to get away from it or get away with, or from it or with it. And so what you have now is you have s even small groups, not just state-sponsored groups like Iran. You have small groups that are saying, hey, listen, we're going to take hostages and hold them and see if we can get some, or we're going to directly threaten the United States of America. And people need to realize that when we take people uh, prisoner, whether it be of war or they do something wrong and they go to jail, um, there may be an interrogation session. There may be sessions of interrogation. But overall, they're, uh, they're going to be taken care of. Look at how bad people treat prisoners, and you will see who we're definitely All right, now I want you to watch what Marco Rubio had to say about the sailor situation the other day. Watch. And imagine if those sailors had wandered into Israeli waters or Egyptian waters. We never would have heard about it because there wouldn't have been an incident, a thing going on there, an incident. They would have had their motor repaired and sent back on their way. Instead of what happened, Iran grabbed them, put them on their knees, put their hands behind their head, forced them to apologize on video, made the female sailor wear a burqa, um, you know, filmed them in captivity in that room. 
all in an effort to show how powerful they are and how weak we are in a huge propaganda score. This is not the act. They're not our allies. They're not our friends. 30 seconds. Uh, the administration still hasn't complained about this. I think that's right. I also think that those sales were taking were taken prisoner the day of the State of the Union to send a message to the president. We are in the driver's seat for the rest of your presidency in the Middle East. Yeah, what about it, uh, Jonathan? I, th I can't believe I'm agreeing with Marco Rubio, but uh, I, I do think that um, this was a propaganda hit, and it was, it was unbelievable. I just can't believe that they were able to do that, and it shows you who they really are, who these people that we're doing a nuclear deal with really are. Fred and Jonathan, thank you both very, very much. Uh, we're taking your viewer call-ins next. Call 877-NEWSMAX. That's 877-639-7629. Call now. We're taking your calls in the next segment. 877-NEWSMAX. Let's get to it.